Hey everyone, today I've got a physics question for you, and uh, specifically it's concerning the speed of light. Now I've posted this question on Facebook before, and I couldn't quite get an answer that I was happy with, so I figured I'd go ahead and post it on YouTube, and uh, also post this video on Facebook to see if maybe someone had some ideas. Now, um, my question is, is the speed of light relative to, uh, to whatever your planet you're on, or whatever velocity you're traveling? And I've been told no, and, and it's been explained to me before, but... Forgive my ignorance, I'm not a physicist, I'm an engineer, and I just uh, I can't quite get my head around it. So I've made this video to help articulate my question, and if you have any useful insight on the subject, I'd really appreciate it. So uh, just point out whatever errors I'm making. I appreciate it. Okay, to start my question, let's say we have two planets, and we're going to shoot a laser beam from one to the other. The distance between these planets is 3.0 times 10 to the 9 meters, which takes light 10 seconds to travel. And so to measure the speed of light, what we're going to do is put two satellites in between these planets, and these satellites are going to be one light second apart. The laser will be fired, it'll cross one at a certain time, cross the other at a certain time, and then reach the destination planet. So looking at it specifically, we see that five seconds in, the first satellite senses light. The second satellite senses light at t equals 6 seconds, so it took a total of 1 second for the light to travel a distance of 1 light second. And then the light continues on its path and reaches its destination planet. In observation 2, we'll use the same two satellites and keep them the same distance apart, but they're both going to be moving at half the speed of light. So just as before, we'll say that light hits the first satellite at t equals 5 seconds. But notice that as the satellites are moving, at t equals 6 seconds, light has not yet reached the second satellite. And in fact, it will not reach that satellite until t equals 7 seconds. So notice now when we compare our two observations, we get a different calculated speed of light because of the relative speed of the satellites in observation 2. So now let's take this a step further. Instead of two planets, we'll say a star or any sort of light source is just shooting a light beam. And instead of having two light sensors that are one light second apart, let's say they're just one meter apart. And instead of being satellites, let's say they're two light sensors on planet Earth. So doesn't it make sense that just like when the satellites were moving, they got a different calculated speed of light, that if the Earth were moving, we would have a different calculated speed of light? And that's my question. That's what I don't understand. So if you've got any insight on the subject, please let me know and just leave video comments, text comments, whatever. Thanks.